Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we are going to show you how to upgrade and swap the 12 volt battery in your Hyundai Ionic 5. This is one of the cool new electric cars uh, that's really heating up in the market. We've been very excited when we see them. 800 volts battery pack is, is very cool. Uh, the high voltage battery pack is what I'm talking about there. And the, the technology they put in these cars are, are very good. Uh, it's a big leap forward, I think, in the, in the electric vehicle world. Um, they've really set kind of a new standard. And they seem to be getting really popular. We see a lot of them around our area. And um, it seems online, there's a lot of demand. The, the forums are, are hot on these. People love these. Um, so we're really excited to be able to offer a 12 volt battery for these cars um, because our goal is always to provide the best 12 volt battery solution that we can for every electric vehicle, which we strongly believe in the lithium battery chemistry and not the lead acid battery chemistry. And so that's what we are able to offer for the Hyundai Ionic 5 now, which is the same as the Kia EV6 and the, the new incoming Genesis GV60. They're all, they're all the same car underneath, uh, underneath the skin. And so they all use the same battery. And so we're, we're offering the battery for all of them. Uh, so today we're going to show you how to swap it. It's a, it's a very easy swap. Uh, there's just a couple of little nuances just because it's an electric car. And so the tools you'll need are simple and basic. It's just you need a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and then a 12 millimeter socket or, or wrench. Um, I usually use it on a cordless drill just because it makes it quick and easy to, to zip it, zip the nuts on and off. Um, but you can crank it by hand, it's super easy still. Uh, only things that you really want to be super cautious of when it comes to, to your tool selection and working with batteries is that the terminals on the batteries can be live or are always live really. On the lead acid, they don't have any protection inside. On the lithium, they do. So if you were to short across the terminals of the lithium, it'll actually stop pushing current out really quickly. But the lead acid will just go into a dead short and just keep dumping power until, until everything's melted. So metal tools are something to be cautious with. Because most tools are metal. You don't want to let your metal tool touch between those terminals when working around the battery. That's, that's just a basic safety thing whenever you're working with batteries and you have metal tools. Um, a lot of people will get like uh, a carbon tool, like a carbon um, socket wrench, and those, those are, are better because they're, they're electrically insulated. Or you can, get, uh, you can electrically insulate your own tools by wrapping a bunch of electrical tape around them. Three layers of electrical tape is kind of the standard um, for high voltage electronics anyways to, to, to insulate tools. Uh, so we're going to show you how to do this. The safety things that you would have are going to be just like a pair of gloves, something with a rubber rubber so that they're, they're electrically insulated and uh, safety glasses just in case there's, there's some leakage. I mean, you've got a lead acid battery which has caustic lead in it and that, that could be potentially dangerous. So we wear glasses, uh, safety glasses while we do this process. Um, very easy and we'll show you how to do it. All right, here we go. So you take your uh, lid up on your front storage compartment, pull this plastic trim piece off, it just pulls straight up. Then take the cover off of your fuse panel right here by just pinching down on the two tabs and lifting that straight up. There's a tag right here. This is important and this is different about electric cars. We always uh, find the high voltage disconnect in an electric car before doing a battery swap because that makes sure that the, the terminals, the, the leads coming out of the car, that those are totally powered down because electric vehicles have a DC to DC converter, which means that the high voltage battery can be powering the low voltage system at any time. And that means that those lines could be live even if you have them detached from the battery. So as a safety precaution, we go ahead and disable the high voltage. On this car, all you have to do is pull that tag up. Once it unclicks, that's it. It's, it's unlocked, which is, which is a very, very nice and convenient spot for that. So now we will remove the negative terminal. We just loosen that up. And then you just kind of wiggle it and lift up and it'll come off. So once you've taken the negative terminal off, and you have the high voltage tag pulled, now the car is totally powered down. Um, so now you should have, your, all your lights should be off, everything in the car should be totally powered down. If you were to, if you were to try to, if you were to go inside, it would just be a dead car at this point. So if you wanted to check and make sure everything was powered down, you could. Now we'll take the positive terminal off by loosening that. 
And then same thing, wiggle back and forth, lift up. Then you can set this kind of over here. And then there's one more bolt we have to loosen. And that is why I have all these extenders on this tool. And that's to reach down here, there's a 12 millimeter bolt that holds the battery bracket down. You loosen that up and take this bracket out and then you can set that off to the side. Now the battery is loose. So to get it out, you just shift it forward like half an inch or so, and then you'll be able to lift it straight out. All right, let's do a compare and contrast on the weights because that's a huge benefit for switching to lithium is you save a whole bunch of weight. This is uh, 32 pounds, 11 ounces. That's the standard battery in the car. And then here is the Omu Lithium, and it is 11 pounds, 15 ounces. So you are saving more than 20 pounds by swapping, just by swapping these two batteries. And there's, there's very little that can be considered more just easily advantageous to the efficiency of driving than just reducing weight on a vehicle. Um, so this is one place where you benefit efficiency by a good bit. I mean, it's, it's very small compared to the weight of the car, but it's not nothing. It's, it, it, is, it is something. So uh, yeah, you save more than 20 pounds by switching, which is pretty cool. All right, let's bring the other, the new battery back in. So we'll just set it down. And then once you've got it flat on the surface down there, push it back and towards the, the driver's side of the car. That will engage the back lip of the battery into the bracket. And you can kind of pull up a little and you'll see it's already being held down. So now we'll put this bracket into the front corner there to secure it completely and not allow it to slide out of that. So same as, as when we took it off, it's just down here and it's gonna be a 12 millimeter. You can test that, make sure totally, totally secured down into its spot. All right, now we will secure the terminals on the battery. So it's a good idea to leave the caps on until you absolutely need to remove them and now is when that moment is. And the reason for that is just safety again. If you were to drop your tool right now, they're covered, they wouldn't, they wouldn't uh, arc across. So we'll remove the positive cap and then bring your positive terminal back over here. Slide that on and then secure it and it should not wiggle. Then you close that up and now we will engage the high voltage disconnect. So with the high voltage systems, these, these high voltage disconnects, when you engage them and there is no 12 volt power in the car, it cannot power the high voltage battery pack back on yet. So once you've got the car totally powered down, meaning high voltage is disconnected and 12 volt is disconnected, then it doesn't matter what position this is in anymore once, the, once it's depowered because it can't repower the high voltage system until there is 12 volts again. And that's why we can go ahead and connect that now and we're not running the risk of these terminals coming back alive. Um, so we now can make the last connection, which is our negative connection on the battery. So remove that cap, slide that on, this last connection, you'll wanna make it pretty quick because it's the moment when everything will start to wake up. And um, that can potentially have like a lot of surge current that flows through there, not a lot, like 10 to 30 amps, something like that. But it's enough that if you just barely make contact, you can create a little bit of arcing. It's not gonna cause any damage, but you'll, you could get like little pitting around the battery terminal or something like that, or you could scare yourself because you see the, the little spark. Um, so just make sure you, you kind of line it up and then just shove it on there quick and it won't be a problem and then tighten that terminal down. Once that is tight, it shouldn't wiggle and you're all done with getting the battery in. So now we just put the covers on. And it's that easy to do the swap. All right, so that's as simple as it is to upgrade your Hyundai Ionic 5 with the Omu 12 volt lithium battery. Um, 
huge benefits for doing that. One, you save some weight, of course, the 20 pounds that you saw. But uh, other things, I mean, you're going to get way longer life out of this battery. These cars are cycling this battery every day. They, they let the battery get discharged, and then they pump it back up full of juice, charging it. Um, they do that every day. It doesn't even seem to be connected to whether you drive it. And so basically what that means is every day it's cycling the battery. And a cycle on a battery is what decays its life. Lead acid batteries are not great at cycling, so they don't last that long in this type of usage. While lithium batteries, that's kind of their bread and butter. Lithium batteries do a very good job of cycling. That's why you're, besides the weight benefit, but that's why our cell phones and every electronic that we use on a daily basis is powered by lithium. Uh, they last a lot longer because you can, you can drain them and you recharge them and drain them and recharge them, and they do that thousands of times before they, before they really get worn out. Um, so that's a huge benefit here. You're going to save... The number of times you have to swap the battery because it's just going to last way longer so you're not just saving uh, the total number of batteries. Let's say you buy four lead versus one lithium, um, the cost is probably similar there. But you're actually going to save because you, know, you, you don't have to replace it four times. You just replace it once and you're done. Uh, besides the peace of mind that comes with just having a battery that's going to be reliable for you for a much longer period of time. Uh, so save a bunch of weight, get a battery that lasts a lot longer. The economics actually in the long run works out that this battery is cheaper for, for uh, each day that you have your good 12 volt battery uh, functioning. Um, and your eco footprint is actually smaller because this battery uses a lot less material to be, to be made. Uh, only 11 pounds of material versus 32. Lead is very toxic. Uh, the, the, that industry of, of recycling batteries, although it's great that we're recycling and reusing, it's, it's very, very toxic. Uh, and, and there's a lot of emissions that come from that process. And you're, you're offsetting like 100 pounds plus worth of lead if you do this swap. So it's a huge environmental bank, uh, impact, positive environmental impact to make this swap. So there's a lot of really cool reasons uh, that we are, we're really happy to be able to provide this. And the, reason, the whole reason we do this and we provide these batteries is to, to have all those benefits. So check us out. We're at omu.com. You can get our batteries there uh, if you ever need questions, if you ever have questions and need support from us, support.omu.com. Reach out anytime. We love to hear from, from, from anybody. Uh, we love electric cars and it's been exciting to see this industry grow. We've been doing this for six, more than six years now. We started with the Model S doing the lithium battery for that and uh, it's, been, it's been awesome. So thank you for watching. Hope you learned something and enjoy your cars.